a guy's bad attitude spreading across the land. Well be. Whoopsie, wrong thing. Genlin, you step into this room. Oh, one second. I get. Oh, yep. Uh, uh, yeah, I step into this room. Uh, this dirty room contains a wooden bed with a straw-filled mattress, next to which rests a small table with an old with an oil lamp burning brightly on it. Mounted above the bed's headboard is a wooden sun-shaped holy symbol. Uh, can I do a just a general search of the room? Nothing yeah. out of the ordinary. Yeah, go for it. One second, I have to just check something. Sure. Hashtag average. Uh, that'll be an investigation, uh, not a perception. Oh, sure, I can do an investigation. That's worse, but that's okay. Yeah, it's worse. Uh, you are not able to find anything of value. Okay. Um, Asipiter, we'll go back to you as you step away and you notice that all your party is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, they couldn't have gone far, so... Let's, uh... Do, 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 do. uh and are these doors shut? I oh. definitely shut mine. I definitely shut mine. Yes, the doors are uh, shut. I did not because I came in after you. Okay, then. I, but I. Oh, okay, that's fair. The that's door. Fair. I did. I didn't say anything. Yeah, the this door, door is open. tiny. I'll uh, <laughs> just like this is clearly his bedroom. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I was just looking Very to see if there's anything, anything out of the ordinary. The voice continues to scream throughout all of this as well. Mm, also, sorry. looking for stairs. Like? For what? Sorry. He said I was also looking for stairs. You don't disturb this man's son. What's He's left of him? It, yes. So, best not unleash a monster in a town where monsters prowl. You know. Uh, James, did you want to ask me about Detect Magic? Uh, good point. I did, but that's metagaming as shit, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right. Because I forgot. All right. Whoopsies. Um, Zadra, we'll go to you. Hey, I want to look in this cabinet. All right. What is in that cabinet? Um... The cabinet contains very little inside. Inside, there's a tinderbox, a few wooden boxes full of candles, and two well-used book books. One's called Hymns to the <laughs> Dawn, and the other one is called The Blade of Truth, the uses of logic in the war against diabolical heresies as fought by the Olmist Inquisition. Mm. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. Much, um, much better than my old books, which is like religion and you. <laughs> I liked the, that series. It was a good one. Um, okay, <laughs> that's fine. I'm not going to take anything out of this. Is this a, a desk or a table? It's a desk. I, are there drawers in this desk? No. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to... I'll just come back out of the room. As you step, you step to uh, out behind uh, a sipiter who hears you exit that door. What? As I turn <laughs> around. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hey, all done with the uh, the priest? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything to be done today. Perhaps or, uh, another day. Nothing to be done. To help this man. Uh, I can name one thing to help this man. What do How do you suggest propose him? to help him? Take care of his son. How do you propose we do that? The only way to cure vampirism that we know of. You would like to murder someone today? It's not really murder if it's a monster. Tiny's just gonna pop out over here, uncomfortable about this whole scenario. Uh, yeah, I'll... S I... Uh, I want to step between Incipitor and Genlin. Easy. Swap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to murder mm -hmm. this man's son, this priest. It is, it is torturing him. Can you not see that it is torturing him? We cannot see any. I'll, uh... Only here. I'm going to, uh, put a hand on Xander's shoulder and be like, Genlin's not wrong, but you don't 
Not without his permission. It's not our call to make. Will he ever make that call? Or will he hold this monster that could potentially get out and kill him? At the first chance it gets. Oh, well, he's been holding him for a long time. Uh, he knows how to... We should ask him how to deal with vampires. There are consequences to our action. And it's not our decision, Genwin. I that don't... voice crack was both Nathan and Tiny realizing we should ask him about how to protect ourselves from vampires at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wear but, garlic collars, but, but it could be our life or death. If if that vampire gets out while we're still in town. I'll take a deep, frustrated breath. Dinlin. We are strangers in this town. Of and nobody. although it is very empty, we do not want to be the enemy here. We do I not don't. want to be questioned as being on the wrong side. Does anybody even know that he is holding his son down here? <laughs> Could you hear the screams from outside, Justin? No. Does anybody even know that he is holding his son down here? Would we be on the right side by making that choice? If there's anybody who even cares in this town anymore. I sympathize with you, Genlin. But again, it is not our decision to make. If I, I believe the sun it is our gets, decision to make. If the sun gets loose and attacks us, we can deal with it then. Until then, it is... We might not be able to deal with it then. I will not murder It is not murder. blood. I do not be- believe it's murder. I'm going to walk away from Genwin. Sure. <laughs> Just her. Mercy is only mercy if it benefits the person you are being merciful to. Do you not think that man would mourn his son? He is More? already he is already mourning his son. He is the trying f- to, he is looking for a cure that does not exist. But the finality of death offers no hope. As offers more hope than listening to his son scream in the basement. I'll step back and put a hand out towards the priest. Genlin, if you can go and persuade that man to agree to us mercifully releasing his son from this in the way that you have great desires to do, I will be 100% on board. But until then, I will not murder a potentially innocent man's son. Yes, the priest is innocent. Is the, is the son downstairs innocent? I don't believe so. It is not our choice to make. Go. If you would like to do this, you must talk to that man. Otherwise, we should be going. Hey, Justin, what kind of plant is this? I'm going to (laughs) say. That's a bush. Nice. Does that have berries? No. Uh, Birds? I do. No. Uh, Tiny, would you like to do anything during this? This bush has berries. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tiny's very uncomfortable with the whole scenario because he can, like, understand the want to get rid of the threat, but also the need to not do it out of some, uh, how do I phrase this? Cold blood. He's just uncomfortable. Yeah, he's just uncomfortable. He's neutral good, so, like, he understands that, like, vampire are bad, but also, like, he doesn't see any benefit. What, uh... How, how like, old is 53 for, uh, like, in uh, relation to human years? In relation to human years, it would be approximately 30... 33-ish. Oh, okay. So, wow, you are juvenile, because we're the same age. Well, no, I mean, also... I'll, uh, actually, no, it'd be even younger because 
fear bulgs live to be over 500 years old. Yeah, you're you've just reached maturity, aren't you? Like uh, in four, early 40 forty is maturity. Yeah, forty is maturity. Age of maturity so for fear bulgs. so you're like twenty at best or younger. Okay, neat. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, I, I I just down. stand there with my arm outstretched, gesturing to the priest. And staring at Genlin. Is the priest still muttering his... Yeah, he has begun praying, praying again. I'm going to go up to him. Sure. Uh, as you approach, <laughs> the priest he, just stabs him. he stops his muttering and looks at you. Father. I'm sorry I'm not religious. Huh? But good opening, good opening. Good How opening. could you not be religious in Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, really. Elf. Yeah, the gods literally exist. I mean, that's what people say about God. <laughs> no, but <laughs> yeah, but we can actually have okay, kid fair. Keep going, Mike. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> I think your son is already dead. Kenlin with the hot take. Kenlin like with the hot take. He doesn't respond to that, he just keeps talking. <laughs> Sir, I believe your son is a threat to the livelihoods of the rest of the people in this town. My son, he... He's locked away. He he will not be free until the gods tell me how to cure him. I... I don't believe there's a cure to what he has. The Morning Lord is a grateful and powerful god. He will guide me. He will help me cure my son. And how long has he been locked in the basement? since he's returned over a year ago. But God, the morning Lord moves slowly and the time will come when he will help me. If he has not responded to you in this time, I do not see that he has an answer for this solu for this problem. That's because then, then if he hasn't responded, it's because Strahd is keeping him from me. The Morning Lord will find his light to me again, and then I will help Doru. I can help him. But... <laughs> How? How can you help my son? By releasing him from his misery. And sending him to the Morning Lord. And sending him and to the Morning Lord. And sending him to... Your god, Morning Lord. You wish to kill my son, don't you? I do. My son can be saved. The Morning Lord will help. He holds the, the holy symbol and continues to mutter again. He... He will kill you if he has a chance. You know that. He cannot escape. He will never escape until I cure him. What if Strahd comes back and releases him? Then at that point, I will be dead. And then I so will the rest of the village. This village is already dead. Yeah, there's still people here. There's still people that can be saved. It's all useless. It is not useless. He Nothing begins, is ever useless. He begins to mutter in prayer again. <clears> hmm... <throat> Can I roll a persuasion on that? No. It's you can really try. Easy. It'll be very, very, very hard. Get that nat 20. Come on, <laughs> loaded that. dice. Loaded dice, no. You're very average today, Mike. I'm very average. I wrote, We all rolled great in the first fucking thing. Yeah. I mean, not great. I great. wouldn't say a 13 is great. I mean, it's better than 10 or 5. <laughs> touche, touche. I am sorry you feel this way. 
<laughs> but I'm if, going to kill your son. <laughs> if your son does escape and we meet him on our adventure, hey, look at those two. Uh, <clears throat> I will kill him. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm making vow. friends everywhere we go. Making friends. I'm going to walk away. He does not respond to you at all. He wasn't even looking at you while you were talking. Yeah, that's fair. Ismark walks over <laughs> and says mm -hmm. to a sipiter, So, yeah. um, have you guys spoken to Donovich? Is he going to come and do the <laughs> burial? <laughs> uh, Donovich is preoccupied. I would be happy to give your father the final rites, if I may have that honor. Do you worship the Morning Lord? I'm familiar with the Morning Lord. Bird. But do you know his rights and how to lay my father to rest? He was a worshiper <coughs> of the Morning Lord. <coughs> Give me a moment. Do I know? What is that, Arcana? Or is that no religion, it's religion. obviously? <laughs> Duh. I am just going to cast a spell on your the father. Lord. He's going to cast a spell on them to make them believe he worships. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. You do not know oh. the full rights of the Morning Lord. <sighs> uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to look at and then be like, well, soon's a close second. <laughs> Ismark kind of just chuckles at that and then moves past you to step into the church. Oh, I'm going to stop for a sec. Be like, oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Nah, I'm just going to be like, hey, buddy. <laughs> he he kind of just pushes past you and says, uh, first off, he's just like, it's it's all good. He just is like, I'm going to go speak to Donovich. Okay. I'll oh, just dear. Wait here. He walks oh, dear. in he there. and walks past all this. of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> And then just begins conversation with Donovich. Yeah. <laughs> he a little giggle thing uh, for the fall of welcome to the goddamn table. Of course the kid's screaming. Of course the town already knows about this. Yeah, Nathan's right. Like, this is not like new knowledge. This is the main religion of the chat town. Like, um, As Genlin passes me, I'm just going to kind of, like, hiss at him that I... <laughs> knew that I, like, I, I, basically, and I told you so, equivalent. I love it, so pretty. By the way, Mike, um, take an inspiration okay. for your conversation with the priest. Sweet. Uh, I feel like everything you did was walking. right. <laughs> Mike was right. Hashtag yeah. was right. <laughs> as, everything <laughs> Mike did, correct. Uh, Tiny, what were you uh, saying, sorry? As we're, walking, as we're walking, like, past each other and heading outside, I'm going to put my arm on, get, hand on Genlin and say, that oh well do and then just yeah. walk out uh as you guys step out irena is looking towards the, the the gray sky as the day is ending and night is coming um yeah i, I synthetic i believe uh, i believe Gendlin's also starting to think that as well that the town is entirely evil. <laughs> I think evil is the wrong word. They're broken. Yeah. You They're guys have broken. ever played in a campaign where it's like this oppressively bad? Yeah. They're taken over by evil, I think is. Yeah, I think that's the perfect way to describe it. They're broken. Yeah. Yeah. Broken. I step out of the church. Irina just looks at the sky. I'll I'll stick near her just and I'm just gonna do perceive like active perceive around around us just to make sure. Sure, uh, I'm gonna walk over. She nods and says hello for Vogue. Uh, uh, hello, Zarina, Sarina, Irina, 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 same thing. Good uh, how are how are you? I'm scared. What? What? What scares you? 
just oh, all of sweet. Barovia. Well, we will get you to safety as soon as we can. You know, I'll do what I can to believe that. That is all we can do for. Um, by the way, Tiny, I have some bad news. Uh-oh. Your um, top hat and the other thing you took uh, has is all wilted and moldy from age once you left oh. the house. No! no! You got moldy eye patch! Wait, wait, wait. I took a, sh a sword from there. A uh, silver sword. Yeah, silver that's sword. fine. The swords don't rot the way that the clothes do. That's fair. Okay, but I would also like to point out that I'm a druid. One oh, no, one. I also got a ivory hairbrush from there as well. That's fine. Okay. It's like just Nathan's to poor top druid. hat and eye patch. Still wearing it. Moss you can wear them. Mold are part of nature. That's fair. That's fair. I'm just letting you know the appearance when you think about it. <laughs> All right. Would anyone like to do anything? Uh, I'm just standing here waiting to see if the sun screams and how uh, Ivan... I the Ivan's sun driving. has not stopped screaming since you entered. Yeah, good. Like I said, they know about this. It's fine. Yeah, of course okay. But it's not fine. <laughs> as you, well, as you come to... They were you, fine. As a sipiter comes to stand next to me, Yeah. I, I'll, I'm still kind of just, like, seething, and I'll, like mutter to the general room but also to you because you're standing there uh-huh uh -huh. can't i can't believe that he wanted to kill someone out of the blue like that with no reason he's uh just looking out for his own safety he's he's afraid and fear, fear is selfish not all can be as brave as you, Sandra. And I'll clap her on Fear the shoulder. Anger. <laughs> anger leads to hate. I'll, uh, I'll, I will just like do a really hate exasperated sigh, and walk outside. Oh boy. I'll, I'll just wait for. Uh, I know his name. <laughs> his mark. I'll wait for his mark. After, does anyone outside want to do anything? Nope. I mean, I'm, I'm, just, gonna, I'm just having a nice conversation. I'm, I'm still doing a perceive check around us to make sure nothing happened. Uh, or nothing I'm sneaks up. Staring at the back of Genlin's head, picturing all the kinds of ways I could kill him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Irina asks what You're you killing are. killing people out of... Tiny. Sorry? She asks what you are. I am Fearbolg. What's a Fearbolg? I am a creature of the Fae. She nods at that. I've read of the Fae. Hmm, that is my home. I've never heard of a Furbolg, but... I like your top hat. Oh. He blushes. <laughs> oh. Give her some berries, seal the deal. <laughs> Not wasting my spell slot to get my wet dick wet. <laughs> <laughs> I said seal the deal, man. That's marriage. I didn't say anything. About <laughs> dick wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, after a few moments, Donovich and Ismark begin to step away uh, out. Do 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 do. I'm just gonna follow them. I'm not gonna like block them or anything. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just gonna. I'm gonna learn me some rights. Donovich moves over to Irina, yeah, and the yeah, two exchange yeah. a hushed conversation, Irina holding Donovich's hands in hers. Uh, can I perceive that? Yeah, you guys can pretend to eavesdrop. But, uh, but You know what? I'm not going to eavesdrop. That's I'm not, not eavesdropping. Good thing I'm going to walk away. I'm going to assume know, I'm but... too far away to over here. No, you're only like five, ten feet away. I mean, I feel like I'm overhearing him. Uh, one sec. Yeah, so make a perception because they are kind of whispering, yeah. but it's like very easy yeah. for you. 
Do to do, do, do perception. <laughs> um, you don't hear the full conversation, but they're basically he's just apologizing for um, not she's he's offering sympathy for uh, the burgomaster's death and is saying that he will do the rites uh, first thing at dawn tomorrow. And with that, then he goes back to step inside. Cool. <laughs> Unvalued Colt, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. <clears throat> mm -hmm. goes to bed. Uh, Ismark then says, mm -hmm. yes, uh, he'll do the rites tomorrow at dawn. And if you're all here, after that, we can, you guys can leave with Irina. Uh, what, uh, um, what before... What, what, what was the son's name? Domu? Doru. 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 Dormammu. Um, how long until sunset? It's about uh, 8 o'clock at night. So, so sunset's around. The prob Sun is currently setting, to be honest. Fair. So probably wait till tomorrow to go check chat with the wailing lady. We can do it on the way back. At least can check we? in. See if At she's least... still wailing. Yeah. We're supposed to wait till midnight anyway to prove our metal and walk the main street. Yeah, mm, uh, that right. sounds like a great totally idea. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, is Mark I'm offers you all um, a bed at the the mansion? Oh, nice. <laughs> in character. No, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, he says there's there's no in left here. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I love this town. Yeah. Okay, uh, how, how convenient. Hey, Justin. Yeah. Those three ladies in the bar were they dressed? Now that we've seen a little more of the town, uncharacteristically fancy. No. Um. Their colors don't fit. Everyone's wearing, like, blacks and dark blues, and they're wearing bright reds and golds. Yes. Um, follow-up question to James's question. Oh, How similarly dressed were they to, uh, to Strahd? Not at all. Strahd is okay, elegant. Right. They were a bit more put together. Okay. I was just thinking, because, like, with the note clearly having been from Strahd, and the person who delivered it to us clearly working for Strahd. And them looking like, dressed like him. And then meeting Strahd. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Um, they they don't look anything like Strahd's wear. Okay. <sighs> Just out of towners. Um, yeah, let's head back to the mansion. Does the Wailing Lady wail as fast? Yes, the Whale Lady is still wailing. Would Tiny like to talk to the Wailing Lady, Mad Mary? Uh, very much so, yes. All right, I'll let Tiny take the lead on this one. I've got his back. Oh, God. <laughs> A I sob. also have his back. A moaning sob floats through, uh, through the still gray streets, coloring your thoughts with sadness. The oh. sounds flow from a dark two-story townhouse. Is mm. Mark and Irina head back home? Yep. Checks out. Yeah, the building right, is boarded right. up and barricaded, but the front door is kind of swaying open in the wind. Uh, I, I knock on the door. There's no answer. <clears throat> uh, hello? You open the door? Uh, uh, yeah, but don't step in. Sure. The house is quiet, is dark and quiet, apart from the crying coming from upstairs. <laughs> In the kitchen, um, lit by a single lantern that's nearly dying, uh, seems to have a bunch of moldy and half-eaten food in it. Oh, delicious. Uh, I kind of look at the others and, like, should we go in? I'll call upstairs. Mary? No response. <laughs> Mad Mary? <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary. I'll lead the way upstairs. 
I will follow close behind. I also follow. Yes. All right. I shut the door behind. Um, sitting in the center of the floor in the upstairs bedroom is a woman in brown tattered rags. And she's rocking back and forth, clutching a malformed doll. Ooh, boy. M Mary? Uh, do you approach her? Uh, yeah, I'll walk over and kind of, like, kneel down next to her. She doesn't seem to resolve much. Is just crying. I'm I'm so sorry for your loss. Gertruda, my daughter. She keeps rocking back and forth, crying. Um, I'll I, I'll just I, like I, wave uh, wave over to Tiny. I I approach and just sit down beside her, cross-legged. Uh, would you would would can we help you? Can we help find your Gertrude Gertruda? I I I, I worry about Gertruda. I think she has to be dead. There's no way she's still alive. <laughs> she continues to cry. Where did she go? She ran away. She broke out a week ago, and I haven't seen her since. She broke out? I always kept her close. She's... It's so dangerous out there, but she said she, she always wanted to go out. She wanted to explore. She's gone. My daughter. She clutches the dress, the, the doll, who has a strange leer and wears a sackcloth dress in her arms. Why would you say your daughter is dangerous outside? No, she said she said he, she told her daughter it's dangerous outside. Oh, okay. Um, did she ever tell you where she would want to explore? No. She... I think she just wanted to start with the village. But... Even Bar even our village is... Is dangerous. So did she go missing from the house, or did she go off? She left. And I haven't seen her for a week. What did she say before she left? I don't know. I don't know. I woke up and she was gone. The window. She points to it. Uh, its borders pulled away. And May she left. Uh, while they're having the conversation, may I do an investigation on that window? Try sure. Forensic that shit. Be like, is shit smashed in or is shit smashed out? You sure. know what I mean? Go for it. It looks like the boards were pushed from the inside out. Okay. Checks and out. She left you no note. No, she just left. Hmm. Is this her room? It was our room. There's two beds. Hmm. I woke um, up I and she do... was gone. I want to do, like, an investigation to see if, like, clothes have been taken. Like, if it looks like a runaway or it looks like she was maybe taken or sure. just, like, left in some sort of trance. Go for it. Um... The closet doesn't have many clothes. This looks like a poorer family. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's hard to tell. Okay. In the days before your daughter disappeared, did she say anything or do anything different than she normally does? No, Gertruda was such a good girl. And and she always she... she always stayed around the house usually. I would like to uh pipe in and just like, how old was Gertruda? Yep. Uh she was fourteen years old. Hey. Did she <sighs> she normally stay around the house? She didn't go off. I like didn't this. let her. I didn't let her leave. 
You never let her leave. It's too dangerous outside. But she wanted to leave. Yes. Okay. Mary, can you can you describe her to us? Uh, perhaps we can keep an eye out for her in our travels around the village and beyond. One second. Let me see if I can get you a description of her. Thanks. Uh, we're actually also going to take a break for YouTube, and I'll do the okay. cake. If I can yeah, do a break. description, we'll do it at the start of the next episode. James needs a pee break. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>